breakfast right here on Citizen TV and we continue with our special coverage of the party, political party primaries across the country. Of course, uh, most of that uh, voting ended yesterday, Nairobi being one of them. And results from Kiambu County as well, uh, continuing to make a lot of news. Uh, this morning in studio, we are privileged to have Senator John Lonyangapuo from West Pokot and Senator Kimani Wamatangi from Kiambu. Uh, because uh, we still do not have the official results from Kiambu, yeah. but you have uh, something else. <laughs> you, yeah. You're saying you've already received the certificate. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we actually at no one point were, you know, were struggling to lead in, in, in the nomination process, actually mm -hmm. even in, in the vote counting. Uh, but um, uh, as, as I've said before, even yesterday to some of the media, people who are there, uh, one, as a member of Jubilee, we had committed fully mm -hmm. that we are going to lend credence to the process. And, then t and, and to say that uh, the electoral process ends when uh, the officials have done their job and they have announced their results. So, so that so, result so, so has been declared? Uh, absolutely. Okay. It, it uh, was declared. I, I need to Before clarify we, that uh, I, I as the media aware. house, we are yet to get hold of those results, mm. but within the, the course of this show, we'll definitely get your confirmation. Sure, uh, Senator Matangi says he has the provisional uh, certificate uh, from the returning officer for Kiambu County. That means he has clinched the Jubilee Party ticket to defend his, seat, his Senate seat. No, but absolutely. I will confirm within the course of this show. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, Senator Lonyangapu, you, you're sitting pretty. You did not have to go through that. Uh, bruising, any bruising uh, during this month with the party primaries? Yes, in West Pokot, uh, Kanu, mm -hmm. we uh, two, two positions, we didn't, we didn't do nominations at all. Um, for governor, where I'm going in August, we were just waiting for any candidate from my party. Mm -hmm. And then for the uh, position of Senate, for which I am going to leave to my brother, Honorable Samuel Poisho. So those two we did, but the rest we did from MCA, Women Rep, MPs, mm -hmm. and uh, it was very good. So you're going for a different position? Yes. Not defending a Senate seat? N Which no. position are you seeking? Uh, governor. Or oh, Governor for West Pocot County? Yes. On a county ticket? On a county ticket. Uh, and that was a direct uh, nomination, uh, you didn't need to go through uh, party primaries? No. Okay. And my people did, the other, the other position did. Okay, of course, the biggest news this morning will be the results from the, Nairobi, the Jubilee Party Nairobi primaries, but uh, there, is, uh, there has been some development, uh, which I think is uh, huge. And uh, Honorable Peter Kenneth sent a statement yesterday, last night, uh, I think uh, it's even quoted here, 2300 hours, that's 11 p.m. yesterday. Uh, and he's listed a number of six issues that he had with the process, but at the very end, it says, on the basis of the foregoing, the issues that he has listed there, uh, which range from uh, lack of a credible uh, party members list uh, used in the process, uh, allegations of voter bribery, allegations of voter importation, he says, I disassociate myself from the sham election that Jubilee Party purported to have for Nairobi County and demand that the same elections be nullified and that any fresh elections must rely on a genuine list of party members. Remember, uh, vote counting continues this morning in Nairobi, mm. but this is a statement from Peter Kenneth, <coughs> who is uh, one of those <coughs> vying for the Jubilee Party tickets uh, uh, for the governor's race in Nairobi. O o your quick thoughts on this, uh, Senator Matangi? Yes, um, uh, s certainly the, the <laughs> nomination process in an election is, is, is one that is, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a very tricky process. I want to say to my brother, Senator Lanyangapu, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that he's lucky to be, <laughs> to be one of the big bosses in Kanu, mm. that uh, he, <laughs> he can move to the end without going, having to go through it. it, it it's a tough duo, tough duo because, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes you find the rules. The, the rules are very hard to enforce it within that environment. Let me say, actually, the Jubilee Party has, has really tried. Mm. We, they, they did their best in the circumstances. I mean, uh, comparatively, look at what's happening in ODM even today. Yes. And, um, and one, one, one of the areas where I would like to congratulate, really, the nomination process in Jubilee is, is uh, the, the decision to stick to the rule to ensure that uh, it is only the genuine winner 
the one who wins after the entire process mm -hmm. of counting the votes that what it does declared uh, you, you saw yesterday there was a very humorous uh, announcement where one person in uh, i think it was, it was in bondo was, was firstly <laughs> first declared to be a loser with uh, 9000 and a winner with 15000 yeah. and after the declaration immediately i think the, number the, the number switch uh, zero <laughs> to this one and, and so i think i think that that's it but um, as, as far as peter kenneth uh, you know a statement is concerned I think I see, th I see the, the document is headed on over Peter Kenneth and, um, and so th that is his, th that's his observation, it's his opinion. Uh, it's, it's still up to him to then move to the party and prove his, uh, his allegations. Yes, uh, Senator Lenyangapo, do you think uh, Peter Kenneth uh, was a bit rash in uh, disassociating himself from this process? Or uh, did he see the, the numbers <coughs> and uh, they did not uh, please him? I don't think so. I, th I think Kenneth has uh, credible uh, uh, facts that he has tapled. I've gone through when you gave me earlier. Mm -hmm. And even if you ask my brother here who went through the same, it is not proper that we do primaries the way we normally conduct the general election. Where you anybody comes to vote. Yes. The worst business in primaries is when anybody who has an ID who may not even have a voting card comes to pretend to vote. Yes. So you will end up having an alternative uh, and people can come from other counties, other constituencies just to come and make sure that the strongest candidates fail. Yes. I was watching keenly what was happening in Kiambu and uh, the, the drama and uh, it would have been easier and better if the bona fide members of Jubilee Party just like in West Pogod, we were very keen and very thorough. We did not want a lot of adulteration and any, any interference from our competitors. Mm -hmm. People were coming to vote using an ID and a, and a CAN uh, membership card. Mm -hmm. That way you distinguish a goat from sheep. <laughs> And, and then it will be proper, yes. because you know now, this is just identifying a strong candidate who is going to, to compete mm -hmm. with another strong candidate from another party. Yes. But when do we subject people the way people went? People spend millions, others spend billions, just for primaries. And it is just mess up in a twinkle of an eye, because yes. uh, the, the, it is changed. So I, I think when he says you use, to, um, they were supposed to use, uh, and in a, in a place like Kiambu, which has almost 1.2 million, Nairobi are here, there are almost 2 million voters, mm -hmm. you cannot say, let us use IDs. We have over 3, 4 million people with IDs yes. in Nairobi, including those of us who come from West Bogot. I would have jumped to the queue yesterday. Uh, but, but I, I'm sure in Kiambu you, uh, the system was the same. Uh, how different is it in Nairobi that now Peter Kenneth says uh, that he cannot go without process, yet I'm sure in other jubilee areas no. uh, the, same was, uh, the same system was employed? Well, uh, to, to, to make a clarification, uh, one of the major requirements during the, the, the nomination process is that you be a registered voter in that specific polling station mm -hmm. where you are voting. And uh, like in Kambu, I remember we had uh, the, 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 the register, the IEBC register. And, and so it wasn't open the way uh, I, 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 I can I only I come with an ID and I, I didn't go to the Nairobi one because mm -hmm. I was busy, <laughs> you know. So in Kambu it wasn't. But yeah. in, I remember I voted in Kambu. And, and going to the polling station, uh, you profile your identification. But the next thing they go to is the, is, is the register, the voters register, in that specific polling station. And, and so they, they, they a party list from a party the list or the, the IABC the register. The IABC register. But, but, it, but it was, it, 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 that, that was being used. But that uh, therefore presents a problem <coughs> because the only IABC register that's available uh, for, the pub, for public use yeah. is a 2013 register. Well, yeah, yeah th that became an issue during the first process. Mm -hmm. And uh, you remember in, in Kiambu, by the way, we, we, we did a mock mm -hmm. <laughs> on, uh, on Friday. Then that didn't work. Then we came back again, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, from the day before yesterday, and and um, some some of the corrections that are required to be done, as you remember, during uh, that time was ensuring that the enough materials that the register is is there, and and when we used the register, I did not hear uh, any complaints from that time, you know, mm -hmm. the second time about uh, people not finding themselves. But the first time there were quite a number of those complaints yes. that, that people could not find their names on the register. I believe that was because there was no update at that, that particular time. Uh, now, I believe, I hope 
because I didn't clarify, clarify that particular fact, that um, the register that was used in the second one, I hope, uh, was was updated. But one way or the other, Senator, because one, one way or the other, uh, than any, the Senator, I, I beg to stop you there because that's some misinformation. Because yes. the updated register by IEBC, yeah. which includes even uh, the mass voter registration that took place in February, yeah. is still undergoing auditing. Yeah, sure. So it's still uh, not I available that. for public that. use. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's no other updated register apart from the 2013 one. No, th th that's why I said. Mm -hmm. That's why I said very, very specifically that indeed during the first day there were quite a number of complaints that we did find ourselves on the register, we find ourselves on the register. But then when we went back and the register was brought, it was there, I confirmed that upon going to vote you had to be identified as a voter in that particular specific polling station with uh, the register that was there, they would cross your name out. Uh, that's precisely the process <laughs> through which I went. And, and as an interested uh, party, because I'm a leader in Kambu County, mm -hmm. and previously had received so many complaints, I was keen. In fact, I was telling people, if you find uh, you have that complaint uh, noted down, and send me uh, those details so that I can assist those people by cross-checking. Are they indeed in the new register or not? And um, so that's why I said, during the first and second exercise, I, I, I noted that there were lesser complaints. Uh, but a fact that I would require to clarify, mm -hmm. you know, wh what what the, the update was. Uh, Senator, uh, th there's still a lot of confusion, uh, Senator Lenyanga, for especially with Jubilee and the parties registered. And this is across board, because even uh, with ODM and these other parties, IBC uh, clearly said the uh, IBC voters register is not available for use. It's still being cleaned, and it will be made available after the audit. So parties should stick to their party membership lists. No party <coughs> has a proper <coughs> register of its members. And this is the same issue that uh, Peter Kenneth is raising here in this statement, that uh, Jubilee Party, and yes, they came out and said, yes, in some areas, as long as you have an ID, you will be allowed to vote. Yes? And I think for a few hours in Nairobi it happened this way before the party came back and said, okay, fine, we're going back to our party register. Don't you think that this is a failure by the party? that what Peter Kennedy is saying here is actually a failure stemming directly from the party. Indeed, that, uh, ideally when we are talking about uh, elections in parties, which is, the, which is different from the general election for, mm. for, an, for a country, we should be strictly going by the membership list. Yes. So it's a <coughs> failure on our part as parties, a failure on the part of our parties. It going we going forward because now I can see we are ending these things now. We must come up with law, in so which which can which can, can can safeguard that so that people like Kenneth and ourselves, I can already see Senator Halwale is walking in. He will tell you because he's in Fort Kenya and I'm in Kanu. Mm -hmm. How do you dis distinguish a Kanu uh, member and a Fort Kenya yes. member and a Jubilee member? only by their membership. So we should be give a recommendation that parties in future, to avoid the mess we have seen, to the extent that some people are really fighting, it should be a party affair. Yes. A list has to be generated. If there is no list that is generated, that, 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 that party should, uh, I mean, should not conduct What the about the assumption that uh, <coughs> places like Kiambu mm. are predominantly Jubilee? So mm. anyone who resides in Kiambu uh, uh, appears uh, or shows up to vote in a, in a Jubilee party nomination is a Jubilee member? Who said that? Mm -hmm. That is not true because Kiambu is, uh, is just very near to Nairobi mm -hmm. here. And most of the people who are residing now in Kiambu work here and they come from up country. So mm. many from everywhere. Okay. And uh, business people are there, people who are working, but they vote in their, disparate, in their, their different county of origin. Yes. So to me, that we should not allow that, because in West Pokot, I have over 20,000 people who may not necessarily be voting in West Pokot, but they do their usual work, their business, and so on. So that we need to distinguish. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, we should be not be having any primaries at all. <laughs> Alternative. If that is the way we are going, we just you just walk <laughs> to the polling, to the general po to the general election yes, because you know the affirmation. You know the affirmation of your party. Yes. You know your candidate. You are five in the uh, Senate position in Kiambu. No, actually, we were nine. Oh, well, well, what do you mean? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> and then we, we for in West Bengal, will be two. My, yeah. I mean, we'll be two or three in, for going for governor. We know who is our president <laughs> candidate, and we know what we are from. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, 
if you use the case of Gambu, who are going to vote for the current president, Uru Kenyatta, as their choice, mm -hmm. do you know everybody will fight tooth and nail to make sure that their choice wins, mm -hmm. irrespective of who, yes. who is going to come through? There you spend your money and your energy towards a goal. Yes. But this goal of April yes. that just ended <laughs> the other day, yesterday. <laughs> and, and in a short while we'll be looking at uh, the necessity of the party primaries given the kind of results that we're getting. How genuine are some of these uh, wins or losses. Uh, but uh, as we said earlier, of course the biggest news comes from Nairobi. Peter Kenneth has already uh, disassociated himself from the elections, uh, Jubilee Party primaries for Nairobi, calling them a sham and demanding that they be nullified and, a f and fresh elections uh, be called uh, where a general list of party members will be used. Uh, well, meanwhile, vote counting continues, and we now want to link up with our reporter who's at the Nyayo Stadium, uh, which is a Jubilee Party, uh, Nairobi County Tallying Center, Masharia Gashuru. Uh, very good morning.